Researcher Dan Gibson proposed in his book Quranic Geography that despite the Quran referencing Mecca just once in Surah 48, Ayah 24, and the Kaaba several times, he says the archaeological record at Mecca is blank before 900 AD. In fact, no maps before 900 AD even mention Mecca. And I'll end there. While the first literary reference only appears in 740 AD, the first literary reference only appears in 740 AD. The first literary reference only appears in 740 AD. We have a reference to that business in the Bible. So now in the ancient world, there was a location right here, halfway between the south and the north. We call it Mecca today. It was an ideal place for the Teamsters Union of the ancient Arabian world to have their headquarters because it was in a perfect location to transport material from the south up into the north. And so in the ancient world already, Mecca seems to have been a center for the camel caravan business. We have a reference to that business in the Bible. So the first literary reference only appears in 740 AD. If you look to page 2 here, you'll see Isaiah 60. This is a reference, this is a, a, a prophecy of what's going to happen in the future. Dust clouds of camels shall cover you, camels of Midian and Ephah. And by the way, Midian and Ephah were children of Abraham in these earlier genealogies. They shall come from where? Sheba, Sheva. And they shall bear gold and incense and shall herald the glories of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedar shall be assembled for you. The rams of Nevaiot shall serve you. Kedar and Nevaiot are also in the genealogies, children of Abraham. So we have this relationship already. The first literary reference only appears in 740 AD. Psalms 84 speaks about pilgrimage to a place called Baqa, which is another name for Makkah, and says, Blessed are those who do pilgrimage there. Also, in the Septuagint's reading, verse number 6 reads in the following way, Here the lawgiver shall give blessings. The only lawgiver to turn up in a place called Baqa, where people do pilgrimage, was Prophet Muhammad. This passage confirms the Quran's statement regarding a prophet and scripture and pilgrimage occurring among the descendants of Ishmael. لقد من الله على المؤمنين إذ بعث فيهم رسولا من أنفسهم يتلو عليهم آياته ويزكيهم ويعلمهم الكتاب والحكمة وإن كانوا من قبل لفي ضلال مبين